Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Tsunomaly character concept series. So the character we've created for today's video is called the Rhino. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But before doing any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you updated with the videos that we post. Also, as always at the beginning of our videos, I just want to state that everything I say in this video isn't linked to the overall universe and lore of Xenomaly. This isn't definitive of what would actually happen in a Xenomaly 2, it's just a fun what if scenario and a cool video we get to share and we hope you enjoy. But alrighty, with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of the Rhino. So previously in our Xenomaly character concept series, we've been looking into the second Bloom incident. The mysterious Bloom Order has taken over yet another zoo and affected all the animals that reside within. The new recruit was sent out once again to the second zoo to investigate this strange disturbance. It seems that someone has activated another Bloom machine underneath the zoo, and it's up to them to deactivate it. But this time around, instead of collecting key shards to open the underground facility doors, they need to scan a number of secret codes scattered around the zoo. The doors are locked with an electronic lock, and each time they scan a code, a new number gets added to the sequence. But like the last zoo, each item they need to find is guarded by a Bloom-infected animal. The first Bloom animal that the player met was the snake. The snake was a strange looking creature with four limbs and a mouth filled with sharp deadly teeth. The snake also has the ability to sliver out of its own body at any time. Inside the reptile enclosure, the player found two secret codes, but these codes were closely guarded by the snake. In the end, the player needed to crawl for a narrow maze to reach the final code. The snake slivered out of its body and chased the player down. But luckily the recruit found the final code and made a swift exit. So now they head back on their mission to scan all 30 of the secret codes. But with new codes also come new bloom infected animals. And the next bloom order creature that the player will encounter is the rhino. This strange rhino creature stands on two feet and has a mouth full of sharp and deadly teeth. And just like a traditional rhino, it also has the two large horns on its head. In terms of size, the rhino can vary, but on average, they can weigh up to 800 kilograms or 1700 pounds. The creature stands at about 8 to 9 feet tall. When it comes to aggression, the rhino can be quite territorial and protective, especially if they feel threatened. If they catch sight of the player, they'll charge towards them straight away. So it's important to approach them with extreme caution. Their size and powerful charges can cause serious harm and eliminate the player instantly. So unfortunately for the player, the next set of secret codes would be located in the Rhino Pen. This area would be made up of different segments. There would be multiple fences that divide up this area and separate the player from the Rhino. But it wouldn't take very long at all for the player to meet this hulking creature. As they turn the next corner, they come face to face with the Rhino. The rhino stands there and stares at the player, and without a moment's notice, they charge straight towards them. Armed with their bloomer bang, the player quickly fires off a round, but it has zero effect on the rhino. The player quickly dodges the attack as the rhino rushes by. That was a close one. If they dodged the attack any later, it would have been all over. Knowing that their weapon has zero effect on the rhino, they quickly exit the pen and try to come up with another plan. There's no way they were going to get past this rhino with their standard bloomer bang. If the recruit was going to get past them and scan the secret code, they were going to need a stronger weapon. So after contacting the keepers of Bloom Order, they arranged for a special package to be airdropped in. But they couldn't risk this package being dropped directly inside the zoo, in case it falls into one of the animal enclosures. So instead, they dropped the package on the outskirts of the zoo in the forest. The player promptly makes their way towards the forest and starts searching for the special package. Using their bloomer bang, they scan the area and try to locate its signal. Finally, after searching through the forest, they find the package. They open it up and retrieve the new weapon. And this weapon is known as the Bloom Lance. The Bloom Lance is a larger and much more powerful version of the bloomer bang. The Bloom Lance fires high strength anti bloom energy beams directly at its target. Whereas the Bloomer Bang requires light globes as ammo to reload, the Bloom Lance uses different light globes for its ammo. To achieve this high anti bloom beam, it requires fluorescent light tubes as the ammo. This type of light globe would be loaded right into the middle of the weapon from the top, almost like loading an arrow into a crossbow. So now, armed with this new Bloom Lance, 
they are sure to pack more of a punch and take down the rhino. So once again, they enter the rhino pen and search for the secret code. As soon as they see the rhino, the player readies the bloom lance and prepares to fire. The rhino charges towards them at full speed. And just at the last second, the player fires off one of the energy beams. The surge of energy hits the rhino at full force. The anti-bloom energy locks them into a frozen state as it pulses around them. For now, the rhino is frozen in place, and this would give the player enough time to find the code. But they would need to be careful, because before they know it, the rhino would be free once again and charge towards them. The time they would be frozen for would never be guaranteed, and the player would continuously have to check behind them to see if the rhino was there. And if it was, they would need to fire another beam with the bloom lance. So after keeping the rhino at bay and searching around the area, they finally locate the secret code. They quickly scan it and another number gets added to the digital lock. Now all they need to do is get out of this area before the rhino can move again. The player has now successfully located another code and now has to locate the others. But this task is easier said than done. They still need to carry out their mission and successfully deactivate the bloom machine. But as to what strange and dangerous bloom animals they'll face next is uncertain. But surely they'll find out what it is sooner or later. So I think that the Rhino would be a pretty interesting character to see. The sheer size and power of this creature would be intimidating to the player and keep them on their toes. I think the introduction of a new weapon like the Bloom Lance would also be pretty interesting to see. It would change up the gameplay and also be a means of taking on the larger creatures at the zoo. The fluorescent light globe ammo would be pretty hard to come by, but when the player finds them and loads them in the weapon, they are sure to pack a punch and keep these demonic creatures at bay. But also as to what the next animal will be, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing, as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the Rhino and what you'd like to see going forward. Also, a very big thank you to all of you for watching and an even bigger thank you to our GameJib members for supporting the channel. If you'd like to be a GameJib member, then click the join button or the link down below. You get some pretty cool perks and you also get your name displayed at the start of our videos. But as always, you don't need to be a member to enjoy our content. It's just if you'd like to and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty, well, until our next Zoonomaly video, I'll catch you later. Bye.